Waters um, Community Test Series. You guys literally my hand of Zimbabwe. How do you keep you guys focused and um, don't get them to, don't get complacent and make to the test series? Um, my handle is a good word. I think the, the, the interesting thing is three different formats, so almost um, an entirely different team with a lot of new players coming in and hopefully those new players bring you know, new energy and stuff like that um, and a new focus as well. You know, Obviously the test series is important for us simply because we've won the last four test matches we've played um, and these two test matches if we can win these, you have to go back to some time in the, in the early 80s or 70s, I believe, when the last time West Indies won uh, six <coughs> test matches in a row, you know. So that's something that for us to to focus on a, and an achievement that we would like to, at the end of the test series, to, to, to have had. Your thoughts on Marlon Samuel returning after injury? Um, look, the injury was unfortunate, but he's been a big player for us in the last 12 months or so. You know, he's been our main batsman, made a lot of runs in all formats. Um, and we're very happy to see him back. How much of a distraction, if at all, is the observation by some you know, uh, cricket followers that uh, there's not a whole lot you can determine because of the strength of the opposition? Mm -hmm. The Bangladesh and the Test Series to know, and yeah. you know, people are saying it's a, a weak team, and, and you get that sort of sentiment. No. How do you deal with that within the camp? Um, we, we simply look back to Australia. When we were in Australia in January, um, and trying hard to win and couldn't win because they were obviously superior um, and you have to take your tough moments like the Australia situation and then enjoy um, you know these situations but you know ha having said that it's it's only tough or it's only easy when when you play the game and one you know people will say it's easy and then you go over and if you get that mindset that it's easy then you go and, and you get rolled over and then the same people that were saying it should be that it should have been easy or saying that you're, you know, you're not as good as, as you think you are, or whatever, you know. So, for us as a team, is to focus on the first, the first test match, the first session of the first test match, and take it from there step by step, and, and hope that at the end of five days uh, of, of hopefully good cricket, you know, that that we've won the test match, and, and that's all we can do, you know. Um, we've seen where we've been to England. If you look at how the rankings, the rankings work, the top teams, the England, the Australias. Um, stuff like that it's tough to win it's tough to win against them it's tough to win against them either home or away um, you know and, and it probably sometimes shows up the gulf between the top teams and the, and the teams down at the at the bottom where we are you know and that's why we're working so hard to try and get ourselves out of that out of the position that we're in at the moment okay um everyone likes to exploit the west indies weakness against spain and Zimbabwe <laughs> most likely will be coming in with a spain based attack what are you guys going to prepare for that um well, you know, we, we watch a lot of footage of them. We know we know some of them, um, you know, we've played against them before. Not in this format, but we've played against them in one-day <coughs> cricket and stuff like that before. Um, we've just had a good examination in, in the last test series in Bangladesh of spin. Uh, I think we, we handled that very well. We got 500 um, in, in that series. Um, you know, Shiv made a lot of runs. It's good to see our guys playing in the last regional the last round of regional cricket and getting some good match practice. Um, you know, they, they can't put a price on match practice. So the, the fact that those guys, Shiv got 100 yesterday, I believe. Uh, Ramden got some runs. And Marlon got a score here. Um, you know, Powell got a hit. Chris obviously didn't get any runs, but Chris is obviously a quality player. And um, and I'm sure that he'll turn around his fortunes pretty soon. So the, the, the batsmen got some got some some uh, batting in the middle and some runs and the bowlers also you know with young Shannon Gabriel coming coming back into the side after being out for a while uh, it, it, you know it's exciting at the moment to, to be involved in West Indies cricket. Was um, Sunil Narain considered for selection this um, year? I think he was but the, the selectors from my understanding thought that you know since he's come into international cricket he's played every format he's played a lot of cricket um, you know, and, and they wanted to m give him a break more than anything else from the from the intensity of this cricket and let him get back and start to uh, enjoy his cricket a little bit more. He's playing for Trinidad and, and obviously enjoying it, getting wickets and stuff like that. And you know, he's young, he's young to international cricket, and I'm sure that he's somebody that uh, he's got a huge part to play for us in in all formats. You know, but uh, from my understanding from the selectors that they wanted to give him a break from the the intensity and the scrutiny of of, of this this um, the international arena. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting 
Yeah, I saw it. Um, I saw it two days ago. Uh, it looks like a typical Kensington pitch. Um, the, the the ground staff said it will. It should have some pace and bounce. You know, which uh, it would suit us. Obviously, with our Tino best bowling at 90 miles an hour, Shannon Gabriel bowling at 90 miles an hour, um, Kimar Roach bowling at 90 miles an hour. You know, we've got all those guys in the squad. So hopefully, the pitch will assist those guys and. Um, you know, people that turn up can see, can see well, pace like fire if you like, you know, try and, try and get back to, to what Kensington Oval used to be as a, as a, as a uh, pitch to ball on. Is there any concern uh, with the fast bowlers given the fact that no Ron Paul, no Edwards? Um, you have Roach who played in the warm up game but mm -hmm. didn't necessarily create an impact in terms of the hits. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any concern with Shami Gabriel coming back for the first time in a while? Any concern in that department? No, not really. I think it, certainly from my point of view as a coach or, or previous bowling coach, to look at the, the fast bowling stops at the moment, you know, with the, with the, the names that you've called, uh, Fidel obviously missing, um, Ravi Ram Paul missing, um, but to have Kimar Roach, to have Tino Best, to have Shannon Gabriel, to have Sheldon Cottrell uh, waiting in the wings as well, to have Jason Holder, to have um, Dylan Johnson, um, you know, young beaten. There are a lot of names that are that are um, that are popping up now. That 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 sort of gives you the feeling that the things are things are starting to turn around with regards to fast bowling. You know, not not, not necessarily the entire cricket as, but you know, West Indies cricket over the years, uh, the success of the team was always built on on a four pound pace attack. Uh, but you have to have those bowlers first and foremost. You know, and. and all the names that we've just called, they seem to suggest that we are going somewhere towards developing a proper fast bowlers that can that can lead us lead us forward. Now, blessings would have won both the one A and the two, but were you pleased with everything you saw coming out of those two? Yeah, look, there was a lot to take, um, you know, a lot to take out of that series. This one day series, Johnson Charles got another hundred. Um, Powell, you know, as a batsman was. Again, consistent, getting scores. Um, Darren Bravo got, a, got his first. Um, Duane Bravo, captain for the first time in the series and, and captain very well. You know, um, and one game we, we sort of chased uh, and was put under some pressure and we stood up to the test. Next game we had to set a score and we did the same thing. You know, so the, the, the one day team, uh, and the, obviously we know the strength of the T20 team, the one day team is starting to take shape as well. Um, the Champions Trophy is coming up in, in a couple of months and, you know, we'll go into the Champions Trophy, um, you know, full of confidence. Um, at the same time, we know in England at, this, at that time of the year in May, June, uh, one of the key factors is getting used to the, getting used to the conditions, you know, the, the, the dampness, if you like, the, the cold. We've got to get used to those things and get our minds strong. And I think if we get our minds strong early on, then... We have a good opportunity to, to, to continue the success that we had last year and, and try and win another major trophy, which would obviously be, be a very, very good thing for us. You saw um, Ramir Sawan coming back for the one days mm -hmm. and um, everything being done to get him into form. Uh, yeah. How does he fit into the plans in terms of the best cricket? Um, look, at the moment, it, it's just getting back and getting, you know, getting confident. At, at, with somebody like Sars, who's you know full of experience and stuff like that, if, if you look at the batting lineup at the moment, the batting lineup seems to be settled. We played four, five, five batsmen in um, in Bangladesh, and we made a lot of runs. It's it's hard to, to fit him in, but at the same time, we know his quality. You know, uh, once he gets once he gets used to getting runs again in, in regional cricket, then once there's a, a spot available, then. Uh, I, I'd like to think that once there's a spot available, then he will find himself in that spot.